You know what time it is. Time to crack on with exotics, holsters and knees. We have four exotic holsters and two exotic knees. Only really two of these actually particularly stand out. So, up first we have Dodge City Holster. Talent is quick draw. While your pistol is holstered, gain a stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100. This will take 30 seconds. When you swap to it, your first shot consumes the buff and deals 10% damage per stack to a maximum of 1000%. This deals headshot damage no matter where you hit. This also does mean that if you hit the head, you kind of get double headshot damage. Core attribute is going to be weapon damage. It comes with weapon handling as well as headshot damage. Now in terms of personal utility as well as your own personal damage, this is de facto the most powerful exotic in the game. In terms of team power, BTSU gloves, in terms of power for you, Dodge City Holster. It is beyond ridiculous some of the things that you're able to incorporate into this. And if you're worried about losing crit chance or crit damage because you put Dodge City Holster in, I wouldn't worry about it. Just put Finisher, the talent, on your pistol. Finisher lasts for 15 seconds and it gives 30% crit chance and 30% crit damage. Or if you're running Orbit for perfect finisher, 35 crit chance, 40 crit damage. And the buff itself lasts for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, particularly in solo as well as two player group play, 15 seconds for a Dodge City charge is more than enough to one shot elites. Maybe not named elites, but it will deal with elites, particularly if you are running a D50. So you're able to pretty much overcompensate for the lack of crit chance and crit damage. It will also allow you to basically instantly delete an entire enemy. And if you decide to run regulars with it, you can delete an entire spawn, crack chungas, get some hefty damage in, cause a stagger. It is amazing for utility beyond amazing just because you're able to get so much damage out there i actually really wouldn't even call it a damaging exotic i would call it an everything exotic need more defense not a problem one shot everything you know you can't die if everything's dead need to uh, get out a jail free card that's not a problem just slap a dodge city holster on and just boom something in the in the grid done chunga giving you problems not a problem dodge city holster break him instantly and then just carry on with your life after you kill him because you're able to go straight to health. It is amazing how much you are able to do with this. Then from excitement to absolute depression, we have Imperial Dynasty, which has Dragon's Glare. While in combat, applies a burn to the enemy closest to you within 20 meters. Cooldown is 35 seconds. It has plus one skill tier, status effect, as well as Hasbro. This holster is strange. It makes no sense as to its placement in the game what so freaking ever the cooldown kills it as well as it's not affected by skill tier and because it's not affected by skill tier it is affected by status effect but absolutely minimally because you're basically it's just only status effect that affects it so unless you're able to get like 10,000 percent status effect the burn you get from imperial is about as useless as a chocolate teapot because you can't get those skill tiers into the burn calculation from Imperial, I think the highest I've got it is like 49,000 da damage per tick. Whereas my standard Eclipse build does like six to 700,000 damage a tick. It's like a huge decrease just by running this holster. It's mostly not worth it. There are some entertaining things you can do with it, like putting on Eclipse with Creeping Death and just run into a room because of how this works. As long as you're a multiplayer and players, your friends can kill things quick. You move into a room and just because you exist there, everything will now be on fire and it can spread. It's not going to do the most amount of damage, but it can spread. And it does help CC things without you literally doing anything, which is kind of entertaining. Shocker Punch. Does anyone else just think Donkey Punch? Defibrillator. While Shocker Punch is equipped, the stun received by the agent from shock status will be reduced by 50%. 
Using a shield will give 100% melee damage. Using St. Elmo's with the holster will give 100% extra melee damage and will make the next melee attack apply shock to the target. Using all three items will offer all of the above mentioned bonuses and the shock from the melee will have a 5 meter radius starting from the first target. 15 second cooldown. Armor, explosive resist and Hasbro. This is the very first exotic that dictates how you should play. Not only do you have to have shocker punch equipped, you also need to have a shield equipped. Okay, Mantis need to have a decoy equipped. But it then goes on to say you need to have a St. Elmo's equipped. And you then need to get the effect from it to start meleeing things. I mean, even Bloody Knuckles said you could throw grenades at things. Melee or throw grenades. Along with the fact that 100% extra melee damage, that's great. We go from doing fuck all to fuck all times fuck all. This is pointless. And admittedly, I've not done a lot of testing. However, from what I have tested so far, there's literally no point to this thing even remotely existing. I'm aware there's going to be some PvP player that comes out of nowhere and goes, Oh, it's actually really good for this, blah, 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 blah. Like, the only thing it's really good for is reducing the shock status by 50%. Um, Hasbro. Like, literally the only reason I can think of this thing existing is to combat St. Elmo's in PvP. That's literally it. Oh, uh, we know people are going to be like pissed that St. Elmo's does all this shock in PvP. I know, we'll add an item that mitigates it. Brilliant logic. Waveform, my third favourite topic. Alternating current, generate a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every second, capping at 10 stacks, 30%. Once at 10 stacks, 10 seconds pass before the stacks transfer to the other skill, the process repeats. So it goes 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, bloody, but up to, up to 30. And it stays at 30 on skill A. Then it goes 30, 27, blood down, while skill B goes 3, 6, 9. Basically just swaps. It's just up and down, up and down, up and down. Total process takes 40 seconds. 10 seconds up, 10 seconds at top, 10 seconds down, 10 seconds at bottom. Plus one skill tier, skill damage, skill haste now in a nutshell this holster basically reads tell me you love rng without telling me you love rng when you read it it sounds amazing until you realize that as lo a lot of people like telling me okay the range is only good or it's just not good really in general for testing damage numbers because enemies don't stand there and let you shoot them they move they do things which is true however by that logic Waveform is then utterly useless because in the range you have a 75% chance to do I think it's like 1.8% more damage. I did do a spreadsheet on this. I, I've lost it because I got fed up with arguing this. On the range you have a 75% to do 1.8 more damage but you have a 25% to lose like 4.7% damage. That's on a range with nothing moving. The moment you have a buff, say on your turret, but your turret can't shoot the enemy because the enemy moved or it got behind cover. That percentage from being 75% to do more and 25% to do less completely basically flips. Now that I've said that, people are going to go, oh, you're saying waveform is bad. No, I'm not. Waveform is good you can get quite a lot out of it if you have waveform on your skill build though you basically need to micromanage the buff because if you have again the buff on your turret but your turret isn't shooting anything you get nothing and i don't mean is your turret shooting or not shooting i mean is it actively shooting at and hitting the target it is aiming at because if it is not target goes behind tree runs hides anything waveform at that point is useless whereas if you just put like a wyvern piece on and got 10 percent skill damage rather than the average that waveform gives you is 15 wyvern now is going to do admittedly at full buff slightly less but there's no micromanaging involved it's always there it's always up all of the time. So 
a lot more easy and a lot more convenient. Right, we're now going to move on to those pesky, pesky knees. Now, up first, we have Sawyers. Sawyers are quite interesting. They have a talent called Stand Your Ground. It cannot be staggered by explosions. Increases total weapon damage by 3% for every second you are not moving. Stacks up to 10 times, 30% total weapon damage. Stacks decay gradually once you start moving. All stacks are lost after 10 seconds from when you started moving. Comes with an armor core, explosive resistance, and health. These are strange, simply just because, as a technicality, because of how Headhunter works, shit bust, these are the best in-slot knee pads for every MMR build. These are the best in-slot exotic for every MMR build. There is just one huge glaring issue. You need to sit still for like eternity. Get hit with a grenade, doesn't matter, sit still. Need to reposition, nah, stand still. It also means that before you even start engaging, you need to get into cover and sit there for 10 seconds doing nothing. Despite the fact that they are best in slot, they are also pretty damn impractical. So a lot of players will make the conscious decision to lose a pretty hefty chunk of damage to be fair, in favor of being more practical. Well, if I need to move, I don't want to lose my buff and then not be able to essentially play this sort of style of build. So I will take less damage, but with a buff that has essentially 100% uptime, i.e. Fox's Prayer. And for our last exotic, not just of the video, but of all of the exotic gear, we have the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads has the talent parkour performing a cover to cover or vaulting reloads your weapon and grants 25 percent bonus armor for five seconds comes with the weapon core crit chance and crit damage All right we're going to ignore the bonus armor part of this for now because that is actually kind of quite handy my issue is with the rest of it performing a cover to cover or vaulting reloads your drawn weapon I don't know about any of you, but when I when I perform a cover to cover, right, I'll literally be in cover, I'll press space or hold space to do the cover to cover, and I then press R, like instinctively. Like I do it manually. And I've also noticed that the reload for Ninja Bike knee pads will only complete the reload when you enter the new cover. Whereas if you do it the way I've just said, start cover to cover and then press reload by the time you get to your new cover you're reloaded and good to go or if an enemy decides to be a cheeky bastard and cut you off when you're doing the cover to cover you're already reloaded and you can just sit there and shoot him you don't have to do anything else where with ninja bike you you're not reloaded yet so for me this is a very poor cheap imitation of what would be I don't know, in-game tactics 101. And it's so poor. Like, it's actually very, very annoying. The only way, really, I can actually see these knee pads being useful would be with the Backfire SMG, where the reload from performing the cover-to-cover -cover with Ninja Bite Messenger knee pads doesn't activate the reload mechanic of Backfire causing the bleed. Even then, I would rather just take the friggin' bleed than run these. It's not necessarily that ninja bike needs are bad, which my personal opinion is that they are. It's more they're completely and utterly illogical. Like, what you should be doing as a player, this just ma forcibly makes you do. Like, I don't get it. It's, it's like if we got, like, I don't know, a pair of gloves, when after you run out of bullets, forces a reload. After you run out of bullets, you press R, you, you press reload anyway. What are you on about? The character automatically does it regardless. Like, why, why would we want an exotic that forces a reload? I, I don't understand it. It's very strange. I don't get it. It's kind of pointless. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Good luck. Don't die. Bad for the health.